and welcome back to Dirty Daryl's Dirty Old Swampcast. Uh, tonight we do have a guest. Introducing Joe Sterling. He's the most hellbilly motherfucker I've met with dreadlocks. Joe, pull your fucking chair in here. Let's get her going. Ah, that's a bigger chair than I am. So, Joe, welcome to the shed. Hey, as always, happy uh, to be here. Oh, so tonight we're going to be reviewing another beer. A grab? review. Hey. Joe's going to grab them. Old fridge full of beer. It's kind yeah. hard. Sorry, we're doing hot boy shit. Uh, tonight, the beer we are reviewing is, it's an old favorite of mine. I've been drinking this beer for like seriously like 12 years and I've always loved it Rogue Dead Guy Ale so get these going I've had Dead Guy before but I know that I was drunk as hell at the time so it's like well, I, I mean, don't really remember what doesn't hurt is these guys are like 6.8% Oh, you know what? I don't give a fuck what it tastes like then. It's a 6.8% beer. Like, so if you're drinking these, be careful. They are pretty fucking stout. I mean, uh, 7% is not that stout. I mean, you might as well switch Dude, I drink, a, I drink two uh, 22s of this. I went on a date, and my date said, You okay? I'm like, I, I don't know. And she goes, Are you drunk? And I was like, Yes. That's what it is. It'll sneak up on you if you're not being careful, but, uh... So you we're gonna be just drinking, lied and uh, said you were crazy. That's not lying, now, is it? That's All right, not. so, uh... As promised, our sponsor tonight is my dear friend, Mike, who has donated... has sponsored the video with this mug... And then I couldn't think of a better beer to drink from it than a than a dead guy. Dead guy from a dead guy. I mean, yeah. it is what it is, right? You're not in the frame at all. Bro. All right. So, Joe, do you want to do a boot or horn for yours? Ah, uh, you know what? Just Honestly, this glass, glass is good. All right. Fresh out of teeth. Uh, the bottle's nice. I gotta give it a pour. I'll wait. I'll wait. Hurry it up. So, he pours like he drives. See, this is how he drives. When you drive a Cadillac, you don't drive fast. You want everyone to know you're driving it. So, Rogue Dead Guy, uh, I'm pretty, I didn't save the box. I'm pretty sure this is classified as an amber ale. Um, it's not a pale ale. It's a lot sweeter than an IPA. The bouquet is really nice. Joe? It's a lot nicer out of the glass than it is out the bottle. Yeah, the bouquet is really nice. It's a uh, fairly floral, fairly hoppy, but not overly either. Anyway, we're gonna drink this beer. Well, shit! Now I feel inadequate. <coughs> so. Like I said, this has been an old favorite of mine for a long time, and really, if you're going to grab, if you're new to craft beers, and you're going to grab one, I can't recommend Dead Guy enough as a starter. It's uh, it's not too sweet, it's not too floral, it's not too hoppy, but it's still, it's not boring. Like, Yeah, I mean, in honest opinion, I think it tastes like everything that a bud should be but probably cranked up a couple of notches. Just, I, I feel like the only beer, I mean, I can't even compare this to another beer, really. I don't, because I've been drinking it so long. Like, this and Sweetwater 420 were my first intros to craft beers. So, yeah, I'm I still pretty fresh. This is where I'm at. I don't know uh, a whole lot yet. I'll grab me one of my, uh, do I have any more of mine? Or just, uh, just uh, house beers? Nah. Just house beers? Yeah. Alright. 
Anyway, boys and girls, that kind of wraps it up for tonight. Um, Thank you so much for stopping by the shed and having a beer with us. And uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Dirty Daryl and Joe Joe Sterling. Uh, This is the Dirty Daryl Swamp Cast, and we'll catch you later. Have a great night.